Hello, my name is John McMillan and I'm the Australian Information Commissioner. You may know that significant changes to the Privacy Act will commence on 12 March 2014. A key change is the introduction of the Australian Privacy Principles, the APPs. The APPs replace the existing information privacy principles that apply to Australian government agencies and the national privacy principles that apply to many private sector businesses and not-for-profit entities. The APPs will closely reflect the personal information life cycle, from notification that personal information is being collected, through the collection, use and disclosure of that information, the secure maintenance of high quality information and access to and correction of personal information. The Office of the Australian Information Commissioner or OAIC will monitor compliance with the APPs. As part of that we've developed the APP guidelines. These guidelines are an essential tool for all entities that are covered by the Privacy Act. They outline the mandatory requirements of the APPs, how the OIAC will interpret the APPs and matters we may take into account when exercising functions and powers under the Privacy Act. The guidelines also give many examples of how the APPs apply in particular circumstances and they contain suggestions for good privacy practice. In short, the guidelines span the minimum compliance requirements through to best practice guidance. The OAOC developed the APP guidelines in consultation with business, government, peak bodies and the public. We received many submissions and a strong call for practical examples and clarification on the difference between mandatory requirements and best practice and the principles and objectives that will guide the OIAC in its monitoring and compliance work. As a result of the feedback, we've clarified the language around the Privacy Act and APP requirements that are mandatory, the musts, the additional matters the OIAC may take into account in deciding what is standard or reasonable business practice, the shoulds, and best practice guidance that rises above minimum compliance, the coulds. I'm delighted to announce that the APP guidelines are now finalised and are available to read or download from the OIAC's website. As we approach 12 March, it's exciting to finalise this next step in privacy law reform. The OISC has already published a large number of resources to help you with the transition and there are more to come. So I encourage you to visit our website www.oaac.gov.au to learn about the changes as they happen. I look forward to working together to ensure excellent privacy practice in Australian government and business. Thank you.